Happy January 8th, YouTube viewers out there. Welcome to Captain Day's Sport Fishing YouTube channel. It's mighty sunny, bright, and beautiful here in Jacksonville, Florida. I hope your weather and everything is good. As you can see, I just got a FedEx delivery. Stick with me, because I'll be right back after this intro. Here we go. Spider Coat Delica Stainless Steel. Thank you very much. The great unveiling. What the hell is this, Dave? Yeah, I ain't going perch fishing. Thanks for joining me on the porch, folks. I just couldn't help doing a video. If you're a usual follower of this channel, you probably have uh, seen on my community page where uh, Friday I went in for prostate surgery. Good old augering is what they gave me and some of you visited my community page and sent your well wishes which is much appreciated well you know I just can't stop doing videos yes uh, I got a catheter and a bag and a, I get bladder spasms that are like passing kidney stones so um, yeah it's not good so I have to do minimal kind of moving around, but I'm by myself, so I have to move around. I gotta get things done, you know what I mean? And I wanted to show you what I did with my eBay bucks that I've earned over the course of the last few months. It is the Mag Shad Diver. And no, I'm not going perch fishing. Can you tell? This here is an 11 inch crankbait. Yeah, this is what them dudes up there throw for muskies. And it is a giant diving plug. Dives like that. It's all got triple hardware, triple split rings. Supposedly it'll go 20 feet deep with 100 feet of braid out behind the boat. And the reason I got these is I've been looking at these things for years. And if you're going to go big, go big or just go home, right? So I wanted to try it. I figured, what the hell? And on YouTube, the guy shows nailing a, uh, a nail into a board with it. And it doesn't really hurt the, uh, the paint. And I figure if I put two of these out behind my boat, I just wonder what will hit them this summer. I mean, that's the size of a dang bluefish, a bonita. It's a giant shad wrap, 11 inches. But I went one better than that. I got two. <laughs> so here's another one. I just went with the same color. Can you imagine pulling this behind your boat? I'm just crazy. I just wanted to try it. Yeah. You know, I always used to think the man's stretch 25, 30, 15, 20, I used to think they were monster plugs. And they are monster plugs. But there's been probably thousands and thousands of King Mackerel and Wahoo and everything caught on them. I wanted to try something different. So I got these. And that's sort of a theme that I'm going with this summer. Especially when I'm out, you know, I do my R&D days. Not necessarily to even care if I catch a fish, but just to go out and do stuff. And I can't wait to see what might hit this. Can you imagine? Now, years and years ago, I went out the jetties when the tide wasn't hardly moving at all. 
in the middle of July or something with two tarpon rods in the back corner of my old boat. So I'm talking 15, 16, 18 years ago. I had an old man with me who was probably in his 75 or early 80s. I started on the inside of the South Jetty as I dropped out two deep diving plugs and I drove right down the jetties. Our jetties, of course, like all rock jetties, are a pyramid shape built off the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean, going for over a mile into the ocean. And I was on the inside of the South Jetty, going towards the ocean, going out. And I dropped out two big, deep diving plugs, and I remember what they were. They were big, like seven inch diving mirror lures. I was just, just going along, just not fast, just pulling these big old plugs, just whoa, 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 just popping the rod tips on big old heavy, uh, what did I have? I think they might have been like ugly stick custom, any foul guided, any foul guided uh, tarpon rods. And I'm going out and all of a sudden, one of those rods just doubles over and we look off to the side of the boat from the stern and like over on a 45 degree angle goes flying a tarpon out of the water and he does a twist up in the air and he lands and he takes off and the hook's pulled. That old guy that I had with me, I had one guy, he had no earthly idea what he was in for. He had no idea. He, he did deer in the heads lights when that tarpon jumped with that plug stuck in the side of his face. The reason the hook's pulled is because I remember checking the drag afterwards. And the drag was nailed, nailed down or from bottom fishing offshore. I never checked the drag. And when we reeled in the plugs, the rear hook, the rear hook on one of the plugs, the treble hooks were straightened out. My mistake. Back in the old days, I'm, I'm talking old days, no Mayport boat ramp, when Mayport was a thriving place. All the charter boats left out of Monty's Marina. I talked to an old guy, I can't remember who he is. He used to do charters out of a smaller sport fish boat, wooden sport fish boat. And he used to tell me, a couple of these old guys used to tell me, they do like evening and night charters. And they would go out the jetties, and they would pick their tide. They'd go out the jetties, and they'd put their outriggers out. And they would, on their outriggers, hang beer cans. I mean, this is kind of crazy. This is really crazy. They'd put their outriggers all the way out. And back then, they, they trolled giant, damn near this size, uh, creek chub uh, pikeys. Broken back creek chubs, red and white, red head, white body. They, you would use the outriggers and hanging off the outriggers, this is what they told me, they'd hang beer cans or just soup cans. And they would troll down the jetties by moonlight and they knew they were perfectly off the rocks just far enough because hanging off the outriggers, the string of cans would be banging on the jetty rocks. And they would hear, ta-ding, 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 ta-ding. They knew they were the perfect distance off the rocks to catch tarpon at night, trolling creek chubs. Even old Wimpy Sutton, who has, he hasn't been gone that long, told me they used to be able to get behind the shrimp boats back in the day and just troll a broken back creek chub. And you'd catch trophy, uh, King mackerel, tarpon, everything, off way behind a shrimp boat, trolling the creek chubs. Some of you, I don't know if, if there's anybody from way, way, way back that views my channel who uh, would ever have heard those stories. Here's another old story for you on the subject of big lures. Back in the day, you could get on the outside of the jetties. I've tried it. It doesn't work today. It just doesn't work. Because believe me, everything that's old school, I'm willing to try. I went out, did exactly what we used to just call him Old Man Beckman, John Beckman. He told me that back in the day, you could troll in the ocean outside the rocks and down the beach with big 12-ounce trolling sinkers 
and about 20 feet off of that, a drone spoon. And you'd let it down until that sinker was banging on the bottom and that spoon would be fluttering right off the sand and you trolled just slow enough that your rod was bang, that sinker would be banging on the bottom. And he said, back in the day, you could catch all the giant bull reds that you could handle. I've tried it in the summer. I've tried it in the fall. Obviously now there's just not as many bull red fish around. Anything I can do that would make it fun and cover more ground, I was really up to. So maybe this summer, we'll be able to see what hits the Tackle Industries diving mag shad. See that, Bill? 100 feet of braid will take it down 20 feet, supposedly. So I'm going to give these a try. And I'm going to do a part two of this video because I can already see that it's running longer than most people have attention span. And I appreciate you stopping by because I'm so bored with a catheter and a bag and not being able to move around because of these spasms I'm getting. And the spasms after the prostate surgery is all because of the catheter irritating my bladder. They're disabling these spasms. If you've ever had a kidney stone, think about passing a kidney stone five, six, seven, ten times a day. That's what I'm having. It literally doubles you over. Friday, I'm getting this all out. I've got huge work to be done on my Suzuki. I've got a charter I can do either on Sunday or Monday. So I got a lot to do, folks. I can't be la I can't be, you know, laid up for a month here. You know what I mean? So I got stuff to do. So I'm sitting around now, and it is murder. Nobody, nobody. No urologist, nobody said, you're going to have terrible spasms because of the catheter that you're carrying around. And of course, all the links will always be in the video description. But I just thought I'd share with you what I'm going to be doing this summer, just for fun. Wow. I think I'll go fishing, scare away the blues, I'm